So we all know Texas is a leader in things like energy and construction, but have you ever heard there are more tigers in Texas than exist in all the wild? Sounds crazy enough that our David Schechter had to verify it. Some have come to us. Um, <laughs> you show it who's boss. <laughs> Get that ball away from me. <laughs> That's how it's done. So did you know that I read? Sure, I've heard of such a thing. I occasionally will read. The Humane Society of the United States estimates there are more tigers living in captivity in Texas than the 3,000 that are thought to be living in the wild. I saw that sentence and I thought, what? That sounds absurd. It sounds completely, completely absurd. And I need to get to the bottom of this. If the Humane Society is right, and there are more tigers in Texas than in the wild, let's start by finding out what's up with tigers in the wild with a visit to the Dallas Zoo. So what we do is it'd be too easy to just make one, um, just take this meat out there and just drop it in one spot. They would go and eat it and then they could take a nap. Our goal is to get them engaged in exercise, managing their time so they they're, have a lot more going on in their life than, with, uh, than just eating and sleeping. Yeah. Before Melody the tiger comes out on the habitat, I'm out here. It's a big old meatball. Talking away food with Keith Rudowski, the carnivore curator. Cool title. Okay, so how many tigers are there in the wild? This 2016 report from the World Wildlife Federation and the Global Tiger Forum found there are 3,890 of them, making tigers an endangered species. I'm reading that there are more tigers in Texas than there are in the wild, and to me that sounds pretty, like, go Texas. Yeah, Is no, that... That, that's probably not a good thing. Um, for breeding purposes, there is a lot of crossbreeding or inbreeding between them. So you could have different species of tigers that are breeding together, which isn't good because that's not saving the genetics. Or you could have inbreeding, which isn't monitored. One of the things that zoos do is we're trying to keep the species as specific as possible. And prevent extinction. In Asia, where they live, tigers are hunted by poachers. Their parts are used as ingredients in traditional medicines. And according to the World Wildlife Federation, 93% of tiger habitat has been destroyed. So we know there are almost 4,000 tigers in the wild and that they're endangered. But are there more than that in Texas, like the Humane Society says? They have the highest quality of life that we can possibly provide. Now I'm at the Black Beauty Ranch in Murkison, which is affiliated with the Humane Society. That is where their three tigers live, rescued from abusive conditions. Humans should not have dangerous wild animals as pets, period. Katie Jarl, the Texas director of the Humane Society, has said there may be more tigers in the Lone Star State than remain in the wild in Asia. How'd you come up with that number? You know, I'm not sure that I'm not sure where we came up with that number, to be honest with you. Um, and I wouldn't say that it's completely accurate, but it's not. There's no way that we can confirm it. If the Humane Society uses a number it can't confirm, what is the true number? This frequently cited paper was published in 2005 by the Feline Conservation Federation. It estimates 4,692 tigers in the United States. So that is more than in the wild. In 2016, the feline conservation released state-by-state -state numbers, including 399 tigers in Texas. Do you really think there are more than 3,000? It wouldn't surprise me. Do, but you don't know. Do you know? No, there's no way to know. There's no database that where we can collect information about where these tigers exist. So the Humane Society can't back up that claim. But in Texas, anyone can own a tiger, and they believe the number is much higher than 399. They want lawmakers to outlaw private ownership of exotic animals. The tigers that are here um, are here because someone else was irresponsible, and so we had to step in and take care of them. This problem is bigger than just a couple rescued tigers. I'm learning it takes a statewide network of big cat sanctuaries to deal with the flood of mistreated, abandoned, and abused tigers. And how many tigers are out here total? 36. That's a lot of tigers. That's a lot of tigers. <laughs>
Yeah, and all of them are, are rescues from one situation or another. Here at InSync Exotics, the last tiger they took in was found by Border Patrol agents. So there were three guys who were carrying him in a duffel bag to the United States, probably to sell him to the highest bidder. So they open up this duffel bag and there's a tiger. He's dehydrated, he's lethargic, he's, you know, not doing well. That tiger's name is Kenobi, and he has a new home here. You have had a lot of cats. We've had a lot of cats. We've helped over 300. On. Yeah, yeah, we have helped over 300 cats. What, is, what does it cost to care for all these cats in a year? Uh, we're at about 1.2 million a year. Would you like this whole thing to just be gone? I love working with the cats, but knowing that there are no cats that need to be rescued, that's more important. That's absolutely more important. So are there more tigers in Texas than exist in the wild? It sounded crazy, but there's no evidence that it's true. What I really learned here is things are pretty bleak for tigers, whether it's in Texas or in the wild. If you've got something you want verified, send me an email. Judge to people.